Hey guys, it's Mitty here, and some of you probably know me from Pokemosh Pit last week. So, hi, new subscribers. Meanwhile, others are just like, oh, I've been watching you for, like, a long time. So, over the weekend, I posted two poll questions on Facebook. One of them was asking what kinds of videos you guys like to see more, and the other one was type of battle or play style you'd like to see me play more and one of the highest rated answers was NU so here I have a random NU battle and I just picked some well I didn't pick some actually Steve picked some random oh, yeah. pokes from a database I had and I now know that that was clearly not the best option for me to go with so I let off with Golduck and it turns out Golduck is also choice. I think it's a choice scarf or choice spec. So I'm, you know, stuck into Hydro Pump right now. So I'm just going to see how much Clang is going to take from Hydro Pump. And it does like a little less than half. So I decided to just stay in and hit it again to see how much damage it would do. However, he goes for the Thunder Wave. <laughs> and I'm just like, meh, I... I'm not fully like familiar with all the move sets or the typings of the Pokemon in this tier yet, so that's something I'm gonna get familiar with. So I'm thinking maybe he's gonna want to hit me with another electric uh, attack because he'd be able to outspeed me once I'm paralyzed. So I went into Pikachu because I think I have uh, the Lightning Rod ability. I think that's what it's called, and it raises special attack. I'm not sure, so don't um take my word for it I'm just learning everything in this uh, tier right now so I've got Mesprit right now and I just decided to go for a sub because this Pikachu set is not the good one this Pikachu set is just a substitute encore like Thunderbolt and hidden power so it's not like anything I could use to set up with Unfortunately, so as Mesprit U turns out, uh, he goes into Altaria, and I'm just gonna end up hitting the Altaria with the Thunderbolt. At this point, I just wanted to get damage while I'm still behind a sub, so it doesn't fully go to waste, I suppose. And luckily, he goes into Altaria, which means um, I can maybe kill with the Hidden Power Ice. So. I decided to take my chance and just go for the hidden power ice to see how much it do, how much it would do because Thunderbolt did like a third, so I was hoping hidden power ice would like kill it. But unfortunately, it doesn't, and I'm just like, meh. Oh darn, that sucks because I left it at like two hit points, but then I see that I also lived at like a very low health, so I'm like, okay, it's it's not that bad. So I just go for a Thunderbolt to finish it off no big deal and Altaria is definitely gonna die from that so I have a Pikachu with two hit points left and I I can't really do much with it as but I, I can still bring it in as long as rocks don't get set up but I know Mesprit's gonna go for a U-turn here so I'm gonna have to switch out and I'm gonna go into Lampant expecting that so it's not gonna be very effective and he's gonna be forced to go into a Pokemon to counter that later on so um, unfortunately for me, he's gonna go into a Torkoal, and I, I have a paralyzed Golduck on me, so it's not really helping my case here, um, especially since it does affect me a lot because I lose a few turns due to it, and he sets up Stealth Rock, so that means next time I switch in Pikachu, it's gonna... It's gonna faint, and it also means that every time I want to switch Lamp in into Mesprit now, I'm gonna um, have to take a bit of extra damage there. So that's definitely not something I want. And unfortunately, in this scenario, I know he's gonna be asleep for two turns, so I was hoping I wouldn't get paralyzed because then I'd be able to kill it, but that's not the case. So I, well, I'm stuck here. I can't really do much, so. Um, I'm assuming he's either going to want to, when he wakes up, he's going to want to attack me and get damage, or he's going to rest up again, so I'm going to go into Pikachu, and that way he, if he does attack, it's not going to hit anything, and if he just goes to rest, I'll be able to switch into an appropriate counter, because my, uh, what do you call it, 
my Golduck is Choice. So I go into my Abzol and I'm also Choice Scarfed on this thing. So there's another lovely Choice Pokemon. So I'm able to just kill it off with a superpower. The thing that I failed to realize was that I did carry my own Alt Altaria, but I didn't um, check the moveset until like near the end of the match. In which case, I realized that I had Heal Bell that could have really, you know, potentially helped me quite a bit if, you know, Golduck wasn't paralyzed, especially since it's choice. It's really not helping it at all. So, you know, it could have really helped my scenario in that case. So, here is uh, another part of this match that really upsets me a bit because it's really crucial that I hit the Will-O-Wisp. And especially since I was expecting the Sucker Punch and it didn't and the will was missed, I was so upset because it really does affect the game later on. Because had Cacturn just been crippled by Will-O-Wisp, I would not be having as much of a difficult time dealing with it later on in the match. So it's really urgh, so much rage and fury going on through me. So. I'm stuck here with a Torkoal and a Lampent against it, so I can't really do much. I don't, I really, like, I'm poisoned. There isn't much I can do, and all I have is, like, uh, a poisoned gold duck, so it's kind of like, maybe I'm just going to have to sack a Lampent at that point, but then he decides to switch, so, um, I do take some poison damage, but I can still switch out and have enough uh, health to live another stealth rock when I do switch in so I decided to switch into gold duck in case he wanted to go for a water move like waterfall or aqua jet so a uh, good prediction because he went for the aqua jet and it's not gonna do a lot however here um, I would like to get a hidden power off however I can't because I get paralyzed so again that's an unfortunate circumstance and I can't really do any. I could have. I could have done something about it. It's just I didn't realize it until the end of the match. So it's kind of unimportant at the moment. And he does go for the Stone Edge, which leaves me and not a lot of health. And I go for the Hidden Power, which isn't gonna leave him at a lot of health. But neither one of us uh, gets taken out. And because there are rocks, I'm kind of not. I'm not feeling it. Like, I don't want to switch anything into a possible Stone Edge. Like, I can't switch an Altaria into this, I don't think. So, I decide to let Golduck die there, and I'll just be able to bring in Absol. And, um, since I am, uh, since I'm Choice Scarf, I'll out speed it unless he goes for the, uh, Aqua Jet. So, I decide to pursue just in case he wanted to switch. I don't know. Um, it would have killed it either way, just because I know I don't have rocks up because Steve is a master at choosing Pokemon. I never oh, got yeah. to set up rocks or have a Pokemon with rocks, so this is where my problems start. I'm stuck with this Cacturn, and I can't really switch in anything on it, anything safely on it anymore, and I really forget that it carries the... Brick break, so unfortunately, my cradley dies. So, bye bye, cradley. Um, so this would have been prevented had I been able to get off that burn. Unfortunately, Will O' Wisp is a piece of shit. So, we have arrived <laughs> with that conclusion by the end of this match. So, what happens now is that he's just gonna sucker punch me. I was really just hoping that Absol would live that. Unfortunately, not the case. So, we proceed to sacrifice basically every one of our pokes just because I have nothing else to really deal with this. He goes for the seed bomb, which, like, whatever. I can't do anything anymore. Just because most of my pokes are weak. And they're gonna probably get taken out by it anyway, which really sucks. So, I'm really just stuck with an Altaria here. And I. I knew he wanted to go for the Sucker Punch, so I didn't want to attack him. So I went for a Dragon Dance instead because I know his other attacks are like Seed Bomb and Brick Break. So I was actually thinking, what if... I mean, I know he's not going to want to go for a Sucker Punch again. He's probably going to want either Swords Dance or just attack me with one of the not very effective moves. So I was thinking, 
what if I actually dragon dance up here in this scenario just one more time and you know try and play the whole mind games thing when am I gonna attack type of thing like when should he go for a sucker punch or when should he go for like a brick break or a seed bomb so I thought that could have that might have been made like a bit more interesting I didn't really think about it at the time I just wanted to get rid of that thing but unfortunately Mesper is going to be able to take me out with one more ice beam and Dragon Claw is not going to be enough to do the trick in this case so unfortunately my Altaria is going to have to go down and that's going to be the end of the match so hopefully with time as I get more familiar with these Pokemon and everything I'll actually have a decent competitive team for it I feel like that'll be fun so I hope you guys look forward to that, and as always, I love you guys, and just a uh, thumbs up if you like it, I suppose, because you guys voted for this tier, so keep that in mind. And those of you who don't follow me on Facebook, you're missing out, so you probably should. And that's about it, guys.